All right, we're uh, we're all ready to go. Yesterday we go, we went ahead and poured our, our footing for our bearing. Uh, if we're gonna go, if, if I could have changed anything about this bearing, not to say that we've done anything wrong, but I probably would have went with maybe a three quarter inch bar <clears throat> stock instead of like a half inch bar stock. Uh, this cold rolled steel is strong, but I'm just uh, I'm feeling that <clears throat> there is a little bit of play in the bearing. I don't know how that will translate, but we're just going to proceed. <clears throat> We've got our piece. We're ready to go. Uh, we'll install that. Okay, all the weight of the rock is on that one bearing, and our structure coat is inside, dispersing all of the weight that's you know taking place. So the design is sound. Okay. We, yesterday we were using the uh, 3M Polystream Foam Insulation <coughs> Spray Adhesive. Uh, it does take a little bit of time to set up. I do like the foam to foam better. So, we are solid. It is, it is pretty solid, but I do like the, the foam to foam better. <coughs> now, I'm, obviously I'm not going to be filling these with concrete. But normally, on a patio, this is your, your bow tie, this is where you would drill down and put your fiberglass rebar into your, uh, into your patio. And then you would fill it up with your mud. And that would create a key that would lock these two pieces together. <clears throat> Obviously, I'm not going to do that here at the World of Concrete because it's unnecessary. And, it, and this has to last for three days. But the engineering for that structure is already in place. Okay, the second, the second step after our initial serpentine piece is put down is putting on the top piece. Now this is actually identical to the serpentine piece, except for it's only about two inches thick. So what we're dealing with here is our top piece. This is actually the top carriage, the second piece with the, with the, the hardscape systems method. We're going to take out our <clears throat> We're going to take out our inner uh, layer and we're going to include it on the outside. And once again this what this does for us is it gives us the ability to follow the contour of, a, of an existing patio. So we're just going to open this up. They slide out and all that does is give us the ability to custom to the pattern that we've already uh, created. <clears throat> Okay, so that's going to be able to come right over here and basically fit perfectly with the pattern that we already have. Now, <clears throat> because I've got an unorthodox end right here, I've had to create a, a couple uh, interesting uh, pieces to kind of help us terminate this, this seat wall right into our rock structure. So that's kind of a more of a custom piece that you can do, but I'll illustrate that when I get the, the pieces all together. The concept is, is I want my seat to come into my existing buttress, and then that top cap is going to curly cue down into this piece. So it's a little bit more advanced, and I'll probably have to explain that once I get those helps in place. All right. Thank 
I kept the outside pieces of my design. The reason I did that is because I want to be able to terminate that and have support on those outside edges. I did taper my outside buttress, but because I kept those pieces, I could use those pieces and put those together, and that gives me a full, you know, a full block to butt up to. Okay, go ahead, tape it down. These pieces will not be covered with concrete. They'll be removed as soon as I finished using them as a support for my seat wall. And once again, this is just a custom application. Uh, it's just a simple piece, a simple end button that I use. This seems to be the best way that I can get the support. Now, I have my, my seat wall terminating into this. And when I put up my rails for my inserts, I have another piece that I cut out of here that I kept so I can terminate on a square. That, that'll be critical for me as I begin to put all this stuff together. So let me get the, that other piece. I'll have to uh, we'll have to glue that or something. Okay, while that's setting up, the last two pieces that go onto our system are the outside rails. Now this is regular standard foam, but it's got a special piece of plastic that's been laminated to it. So what this does is this allows us to get a, a bend out of our plastic or out of our foam without it cracking because it's being supported by a piece of plastic on the outside. And that's what's going to allow us to be able to get the outside edge to hold our forms. So we'll be installing those. Overlap? Yep. Pretty good. You don't want it done? Not yet. We will use it for this, but I want to get these pieces all here trimmed up. If we have to, um, we'll take one of these. Put them right about here, just to help us with this outside radius. So, see, my bow ties are so big, that's why I want to short those up. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, hey! Chris, we can all that set up. Let's uh, let's put this together. I, I might have a couple more bow ties. Thank <laughs> you. 
just want to try to take a little bit of that off. Any 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 pieces that we have that are you know fracturing or breaking? Yeah. You put that one here. Hey, you can take it. I'm gonna have another piece of felt right over there on top like this. And I'll probably cheat that outside piece right there. So let's go ahead and spray the Oh, then you just cut it after you form it? I mean, after you pour it and strip it? So if that's set up, 